pizza. It's one of my all-time favorite foods. I love it in all its glorious forms, from the traditional to the extreme, from deep dish to Neapolitan. Having spent most of my life in Chicago and now living as a resident in New York City, pizza is a staple of my diet. I want the best, which prompted me to make a journey to New Haven, Connecticut to dine at what many consider to be the greatest pizza restaurant in the country, Frank Pepe Pizzeria Napoletana. And here it is, the original Frank Pepe's since 1925, almost 100 years old. This place put New Haven on the map. In terms of pizza, that is, and pretty much founded what we think of New Haven style pizza. While the restaurant has expanded to multiple locations in a couple of different states, this is where it all began. This is where I wanna eat. This is a dream come true. This is a bucket list restaurant for every pizza fan out there. And now it's time for me to eat some pizza. Frank Pepe, an Italian immigrant with an entrepreneurial drive, began his establishment in 1925. Pepe started off by selling bread, but then offered two kinds of pizza, or as they say in New Haven, a beets, which takes after the Neapolitan dialect. I arrived right when the establishment opened, so it wasn't very crowded, but it quickly filled up. Made it to Frank Pepe's, a bucket list restaurant, pure and simple. Pizzas at Pepe's come in three sizes, small, medium, and large, with a small measuring 12 inches. Both my pizzas were smalls. I just placed my order. I got two pizzas. I don't know if I can finish, but I traveled a long way to get here. We'll try. I got the white clam pizza, had to, and a traditional, original tomato pie. Like for the past two days, I couldn't even sleep because I've been dreaming about the pizza from this place. I'm so excited. It was at Pepe's that the New Haven style of thin crust pizzas baked in coal fire brick ovens originated. The higher temperatures achieved by utilizing coal impart a crispier texture and charred quality to the pizza. The pizza has arrived and this looks amazing. I'm gonna try the original tomato first. Really tiny slices, but nice to eat. Number one pizza in the US. Here we go. Dreams do come true. This is everything you want in a pizza. This is perfect, 10 out of 10. Absolutely amazing. When Frank Pepe first started selling pizzas, the simple tomato pie was one of his two initial offerings. It contains crushed Italian tomatoes, grated Pecorino Romano, and olive oil. So the tomato sauce in here, perfect. Perfect balance between salty and sweet. This pizza has the perfect texture, the perfect char from the coal fire brick ovens. Everything works perfectly. You'd think that just tomato sauce and the pizza would be too simple. Nope, it's perfect. Pepe's most famous pie, the white clam pizza, first came about in the 1960s since the establishment served raw little neck clams from Rhode Island on the half shell as an appetizer. Today, the pizza contains fresh clams, grated pecorino romano, garlic, oregano, and olive oil. All right, gonna try the white clam pizza now. Nope, there's a decent amount of clams on here, and this is what they're really famous for. Oh, I'm so excited. That is perfect. This is so good. This is pure New Haven. This is perfect pizza. This is 10 out of 10 as well. I mean, clams are not for everybody, but I love this. I love clams. This is a fantastic pizza. By the way, when the pizza was first brought out, I could smell the clams. It was such a strong, beautiful, sea-like flavor. I loved it. It tastes amazing. Pizzas at Pepe's are cut somewhat randomly, as some slices resemble more traditional sizes while others are small and would only take a few bites to consume. Look at the color on the bottom of this pizza, it's perfect. I just love the crust on this pizza, it's the perfect amount of char and the flavor is spectacular. The 
pizza is also super thin and light. At first, I was a little intimidated. I thought, you know, maybe two pizzas is a little too much, but I think I'll be able to finish it. Plus, it's so damn good, I'm gonna finish anyways. With food that spectacular, finishing it wasn't a problem at all. That was some of the greatest pizza I've ever had. That was perfection. Plus, it's a good thing I came when I did, right at 11 o'clock when it opened, because there's already a significant line of people waiting for tables here. And it's a weekday. It's a popular place. I mean, it is the best, so you expect that. Funny story, there was a couple eating lunch right behind me. They ordered the exact same thing, a small white clam pizza and a small original tomato pizza. They split it among themselves and they couldn't finish it. I, on the other hand, finished everything. I feel like if you've journeyed as far as I have, made a pizza and pilgrimage, you really should get more than one flavor of pizza. I am full, but I'm certainly not stuffed. I skip breakfast so I can concentrate on the important things, pizza. If you can't finish everything, no big deal. Just get some leftovers. That's what I would have done, but I ate it all, so damn good. I am so happy I journeyed here to New Haven. I feel like it gives me some pizza street cred. Obviously, New Haven will never have the quantity of pizza establishments like New York City or Chicago, but what it does have is quality. It's got some really, really amazing places. Without a doubt, the pizzas I had at Frank Pepe's were among the best I've ever had. They were so insanely good. Is this better than the pizza you can get in New York City? Well, that's kind of subjective. And I think even with all the rankings of pizza establishments, it's a subjective thing though. It's all about enjoyment and one's personal preferences. I loved what I had here today, that's for sure. I can't wait to return to Frank Pepe's because that is an amazing establishment. That is pizza heaven. It's perfect, it's wonderful, it's old school, it's quality. It's everything you could want in a pizza restaurant, and it's wonderful.